This is going to be a difficult video for me to make, and it's probably going to be difficult for people to watch as well, but I feel like it would be good for me to go through whatever I'm experiencing, kind of like a, a journal of sorts. So yesterday, I spoke to a therapist through a chat for about two, two hours of time. It was a rough conversation, but one I felt I needed to have to better explain what I'm going through right now. I started the chat by talking about some of the trauma I experienced as a child and what I did to deal with it as best I could. Turns out, what helped me the most was video games. I didn't actually enjoy them as much as I thought, but they were a way for me to get away from what was happening to me at the time. It was my path out of that pain at the moment, and that form of escapism has stuck with me even till, the, even till now. Do I enjoy video games? I don't think I do. However, they've always been there, and I've used them as an outlet. I was in, asked a question that didn't seem to make sense at the time. Like, do my thoughts seem chaotic and hard to follow? Which, at first thought, was, yes, I have ADD or ADHD. But was that really what it was? Possibly, my thoughts were chaotic, because my mind has always been chaotic. I had this war going on in my head between, am I a good boy, good person? And how can I be with all the evil and hate I experienced growing up? That particular thread was left incomplete in our conversation. Next, I was asked if I abused any substances, which, of course, I did not. Then, have I had any thoughts of suicide in the past two months? And no, I never honestly thought of suicide but when my depression did hit its hardest, I would have thoughts of, what if I just wasn't here? And if I lost what little I did have, what would my life be worth? Is it because of my faith that I'm still here? That I never attempted self-harm? What value am I given to balance the fact that I'm still here? And that I've face the darkness that I have that's still very much a part of me. I was asked if I ever hurt or killed anyone, to which I replied, no, I hate violence. And as someone who experienced a lot of violence growing up, that's unquestionably true. I was asked what I do for fun then, and honestly, I can't think of anything that I do as fun. It's all just a time filler, and I know that, but instinctively, I do it anyway. I have several projects that I have started, and some of them might even take off, maybe. But do I work towards that goal? No. I just sit and fill time until I get ready for work every day. Why? Is it because I know they will fail? Yes. I know my projects will fail because I've been told my whole life that everything I do will fail. Is it because I don't deserve happiness? Yes. Honestly, I think that's true because I've been told that as well. After everything I've been through, I pushed people away. It's not because I hate them, but it's because I hate myself and have for decades. I realized that I can't hate anyone that I have no control over, so I took all of that hate and internalized it, leading me to be the person that I've hidden away for so long. The thing that hit me the most during this chat was how upset I wasn't. I was like a robot, admitting that I've been abused, traumatized, mistreated. Yet, during that conversation, even right now, I'm disassociated from it. Eventually, and what started all of this, was all of that pain and darkness hit me really hard. 
And I don't know. It's the only thing that I can think of that might help. So I worked up the nerve to contact a local therapist associated with the APA, and I'll be meeting them on Monday the 12th. But in the meantime, no matter how hard these videos are for me to make, I feel like I should chronicle this experience and open up to the truth.